Hello, welcome to part two. Well, yeah, since it's Achilles' last day, his retirement party, guess what he ends up doing? Getting himself pissed. And who should come along but Alexander? So they have a little bit of banter, a little bit of chat. He threatens him, trying to say, well, you know, it just won't be the same. I, I was the one to kill you. And you know what? Let's have a drink to it. Well, needless to say, the next day, Achilles wakes up with a terrible, terrible hangover and he finds out that one of the gen jocks, this certain woman here, was the one that escorted him home. Well, if I was him, I'd feel like a right dumbass at the moment, so he crawls around on the floor like a moor and bangs his head. What an idiot. And he's the best robo jock? Good God. Okay, just before he's off to do whatever it is he's going to do, now he's retired from robo jocking. He thinks he'll have a little bit of a perverted look at the gen jocks. And again, that woman in particular. So, now it's time to go. He says goodbye to his old mate Tex. Crash and burn. Crash and burn is just from jocks, isn't it? And he goes to spend some time with these loser friends of his. Look at these people. Look at them. Look at the misfits. Look at you. And she explains to him, well, she's going to have six kids, because apparently these guys live on dole, and if she gets six kids, she gets three bedrooms. What a useless bunch of morons. Get a job! Crash and burn suddenly takes on a new meaning. Yeah. Apparently he gets, um, dick stew. God, I don't know what that is. In the meantime, a certain, uh, gen jock is aspiring to take on Alexander and she makes it to the top of whatever the hell that thing is and wins. So she is going to face Alexander. The next day, Achilles gets up, uh, you know, at this dump Dosser's house and he finds out that she is going to face Alexander, the first woman robo-jock ever to be put in a competition. Well, being the sexist pig, obviously, that he is, he goes right back to the robo-jock headquarters and demands to get his job back again. Oh, I, I want to Robo Jock. How dare you put a woman in my place? This was meant to be my fight, even though I had the opportunity for ages and I said it was only so many fights and I'm out. Apparently now I've changed my mind. What a twat. Well, you know what you've got coming, mate. And all I can say is you probably deserve it after what you've done. So, well, wasting no time, Achilles gets straight back into the action as a Robo Jock. But unfortunately, now, for some reason, the secret weapons are a secret even to him and everybody else on the team. So what's the point of a secret weapon if you don't even know how to use it? And he explains that, well, we've had so many leaks and so many of our jocks have been lost because of the leaks of information. You won't know anything about the weapons until the fight. So now it would indicate to us that possibly this guy here might well be the traitor who's leaking the information by the fact he won't disclose any of it to the actual robo-jocks. Now we find out he hasn't been withholding the information about the new weapons because he's the traitor. It's because that he has his suspicions that Tex is the traitor. And now, unfortunately for him, he's let Tex know and this leaves him in a very, very awkward position. But unfortunately, Tex is too quick too fast and too much of a shit and the fact that he's just told him he knows him he's just pretty much signed his own death sentence isn't he he gives him a little rambled speech about you used to be a good man Tex you used to be this you're a jock you're one of the good guys don't sell yourself out blah 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 and all the time while he's doing this he uses this little control here to film it so because he knows he's dead but he wants to make sure that Tex faces justice. Now, all of that little speech between them two and the fact he's just shot him has been filmed. And that comes quite prevalent later on in the film, but you know that. You don't need me to tell you that. Now he sets it up to look like it's been suicide because he's been found out. Now he thinks to himself, of the perfect crime, and he rings through to the department to tell him, guess what, I found him out, but he's committed suicide. In the meantime, again, there's a lot of meantimes, 
Achilles and Athena meet up and he explains that he is going to be the one facing on Alexander. Well, now Athena is really pissed off, so she fights him for it. Look, if you're man enough to fight Alexander, you're man enough to fight me, who is supposedly just a gender woman. So they go for a little fight, she gets the drop on him, kicks him in the nuts, he probably had it coming, knocks the stupid shit out runs and locks him in the place because she wants to be the one to fight Alexander, not Achilles. So you're locked in, buddy. So on fight day, when Achilles is supposed to be fighting Alexander, who should appear but we would think Achilles. So she is obviously in Achilles' uniform. Not a great disguise, but it seems to be fooling the rest of these dipshits, doesn't it? So they wonder why Achilles is so early. But all of a sudden, some bright sparks suddenly realise that's not Achilles. That's one of the gen jocks. Because I think one of the blokes tapped him on the arse, or her on the arse. Oh God, I don't know what's going on here. And here we find Achilles running around like a prat, trying to get back into the action. Well, they order Athena to step down, but she's not having any of it. It's complete havoc and absolute chaos. And the creator of the Gen Doc comes here saying, well, she's always obeyed orders. We don't know what's going on now. So what's going to happen? Where's Achilles? Why is she in his place? Is she as good as Achilles? Is she better? What are we going to do? I'm afraid, my friends, I am so sorry. All the explanations for the end of this film I'm going to have to wait for a part three. I you thought I could do it in two parts, but I'm sorry I can't. Alexander. Look out and for part three. What did you do to my boy? I put him to sleep. Please, 